Welcome back to Anything German Shepherd. Whether you've got a German Shepherd puppy and you want to help him control their high levels of energy, or you've got an aging German Shepherd that's still got just as much energy as their younger days, one of the best ways to keep your four-legged pal stimulated is to incorporate the addition of jobs into their daily routine. The first job you can incorporate is the close the door command. Before teaching your dog this job, make sure that you've already taught them the common dog skill which is known as target. Targeting is when a dog is given a target to touch with a part of its body, and the easiest way to teach your German Shepherd how to target is to rub some food on your hand so that your dog will then sniff your hand where the food touched. Whenever your dog leads in to sniff your hand, say a special word such as touch, followed by giving them a treat. Sooner or later, your dog will learn that whenever you say the special word, he will need to tap your hand with his nose. When teaching your dog to close a door, simply place the target on the door, teach them to touch it with their paw or even their nose, then make sure to positively reinforce this behavior with a treat. Keep doing this until your German Shepherd is able to close doors on command. The Carry Your Stuff Command This task is pretty simple, but only tell your German Shepherd to pick up stuff that won't be too heavy, and will be small enough to pick up in their mouth. You can also give your dog a little bag to carry around in his mouth that you can fill with toys or something similar, and then ask your dog to carry it for you. To teach this task, place a target on the object or bag you're going to be training him with and then repeat the command, carry your stuff, every time he picks up the item in his mouth. In addition to speaking the command, make sure that you're giving your German Shepherd a treat after performing the job correctly, and keep repeating until the command has been learned. The put a treat on your paw trick. This isn't so much a job, but rather a mentally engaging trick that will help improve your German Shepherd's focus and concentration levels. Begin with your dog in a down position, then take a treat and place it on one of your German Shepherd's paws, making sure not to let him eat it by either covering it with your hand or lifting it away if your dog tries to take it. When you've established with your dog that he can't eat the treat just yet, wait a few moments before telling your dog to take it while also reinforcing his behavior with lots of praise and cuddles. Repeat this process a few more times until your dog has learned not to take the treat off his paws until you tell him to go ahead and take it. The Pick the Cup Game This is a super fun game that will puzzle and excite your dog. It involves three cups, a tasty treat, and an inquisitive German Shepherd. Begin by grabbing three plastic cups, as well as one or two of your dog's favorite treats, and place a treat under one of the cups. Once you're all set up, call your dog over to you and ask him to sit down in front of the cups. When you're ready, begin moving the cups around for a few moments before stopping and asking your dog to pick a cup. The aim of the game is for your dog to pick the right cup, so if he doesn't get it right away, you can either choose to say wrong cup, or immediately just begin moving the cups around again. Your dog will learn that his job is to pick the right cup with the treat inside, and as soon as your dog picks the right cup, you can then reward him by letting him eat the treat, while also giving him lots of praise. The Zigzag Through the Cones Game This game is ideal for getting your German Shepherd active in smaller household spaces, and is also great for older German Shepherds who need some moderate exercise that's not too strenuous on their joints. You're going to need to have some cones on hand, as well as enough space to be able to make a zigzag pattern with enough room for your GSD to wiggle through. Begin by placing large spaces between the cones so that the game will be a lot easier and enjoyable for your dog to play. Only as he starts to get the hang of it can you then begin to make things more challenging by pushing the cones a little closer together. The Tidy Up Your Toys Command Once you've successfully taught your German Shepherd to tidy up after playtime, it means that you won't have to do it, and your dog is going to feel proud for helping you. Begin by grabbing a toy box or basket that you plan on keeping your German Shepherd's toys inside. Wait until your dog has been playing with his toys, and when he's finished you can then proceed to ask him to tidy up his toys. For the best results, we recommend kneeling down next to the box or basket you plan on keeping the toys inside, and then asking your dog to pick up one toy at a time. As soon as your dog brings one of his toys to you, make sure that you praise him as this will help him understand that he's doing a good job. When you're ready and finished giving your dog praise, you can then ask him to drop the toy inside the toy box or basket. As soon as your GSD drops the toy inside, make sure you give him lots of praise again. After you've taught your German Shepherd to successfully pick up his toys and drop them inside the box, you can then begin to attach a phrase to it so that your dog will understand the command whenever you say it. And finally, the Where's Your Dinner game. This game involves hiding your dog's food and making him search around the house for it. Instead of pouring your German Shepherd's food into one bowl, take a few plastic bowls and divide your dog's dinner into each bowl. After doing that, take each bowl to a different spot of the house, concealing each one so that your dog will have to sniff them out. Start off by showing your dog what you're doing while you're hiding each bowl of food, as this will help him understand the game as time goes on. When you've hidden each bowl and you're ready to start the game, ask your dog, where's your dinner, before guiding him around each hiding location so that he can sniff out the food and retrieve each bowl. During the game, make sure that you're repeating the question, where's your dinner, as this will help him understand to go and search for his dinner during any future games that you might play with him. After your dog has found all of his dinners, make sure you give him plenty of praise. Thank you for joining us today. Please feel free to subscribe to our channel and newsletter, and don't forget to hit the like button. Until next time.